We are back with a countdown of the 76th Annual Emmy Awards. For the first time ever, the awards show will be hosted by a father-son duo, Eugene and Dan Levy. Chris Connolly talked to them about the big night. Hey, Chris. Good morning again, George. Yes, a father and son as hosts. It's an Emmy first, and this father and son saw their beloved sitcom sweep the awards just four years ago. Now, Eugene Levy and Dan Levy are bringing their unique comic chemistry to live TV, and they say they're ready for the challenge. And who pays for it? Nobody. You write it off. Who writes it off? The write-off people. Through six seasons of sitcom perfection. What now? These two and the rest of their TV family had millions of viewers more than happy to be up the creek. Ew. Now, four years after their night of total triumph at the 2020 Emmys. My brows have their own agent. Dan Levy and Eugene Levy are returning to make Emmy history again as hosts. Congratulations to the two of you, the first father and son duo ever to host the Emmys. What does that mean to you? means we're the first. <laughs> I, I think that's what it means. It's not like we went to the Emmys and said, please let us host. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think in prepping for this thing, you can't really overthink the first. My biggest obstacle was fear. And I feel like if fear is your biggest obstacle, you have to do it. I told my wife that we were asked to host. She said, well, you're not doing it. <laughs> and I said, well, maybe, maybe not. There was electricity that was kind of drawing us into it, right? I mean, the challenge of it. It was the challenge. The challenge is not humiliating yourself on national television in front of millions and millions of people. How would you uh, describe what it is that the two of you do bickering. when you're together? Bickering? I think it's a, it's a level of, of bicker banter. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bicker, kind of back and forth. It's a, it's a general lack of respect. Yeah. I think you were fortunate enough to have a, a kind of uh, chemistry that works um, on an award show. Was yeah. it the same chemistry you had growing up, just as father and son, or was it something that you found in terms of performing? He found it at some point. He found his comedic voice at some point, and he was able to put the family away with, like, a single word or a phrase. <laughs> Any particular word? <laughs> I can't remember now, but I do remember using, having an understanding of what really kind of pushed my dad to the edge, using that in our show as much as I possibly could. What kinds of things would those be? Well, I think it's the second episode of our entire series hair. has his hair getting wet by a drip. What are you wearing? What is that, a nightgown? It's a nightshirt, David, and that's not the issue. The issue is the brown sludge in my bed. From Catherine O'Hara's Moira to Annie Murphy's Alexis and Emily Hampshire's Stevie, fans wondering if some Creek faves might turn up at this year's show. David, I'm here! It's at this point maybe a possibility. Yeah, you might see them just in ways you don't expect. Ooh, you're so good. <laughs> the multi-nominated cast of Only Murders in the Building, set to present at this year's Emmys, joining other Academy favorites like The Bear, Shogun, Pax, and Abbott Elementary in vying for statues and glory. You know, I think our approach through this is, is what we approach everything we do, which is like, you know, heart and kindness while at, while at the same time not losing the edge of what people come to expect from a host. You gotta be funny. We really hope that it's just a fun vibe. Personally, for me, comedy's all about, um, if I'm gonna go down, I wanna take somebody <laughs> with me. So, luckily, I've got, I've got my son here. Yeah, that's, yeah, uh, yeah. That's, be, that's be good fatherly down. advice. Go <laughs> Good times in store. And more presenters set for Sunday's Emmys, including Viola Davis, Lily Gladstone, Mindy Kaling, John Leguizamo, Kristen Wiig, and the ageless one, 98-year-old wow. Dick Van Dyke. Should be a lot of fun, guys. Mm -hmm. Fun vibe. Sure. Yep, fun vibe. Fun vibe. Yeah. And there will be more of Chris's interview with Gene and Dan in the ABC special, The 76 Emmys, a night of first this Friday at 8 Eastern. You can watch The 76 Emmys on Sunday starting at 8 Eastern right here on ABC.